Theme song. 2.0. Welcome, my Naboo cruiser of love. You say that. I actually yes, I have a ship that 100% looks like fucking Padme's ship. The Naboo cruiser of love? Yeah. You know what was fucked about those movies? Padme... Yeah, fuck. Padme was an adult when she met child fucking Anakin. If they had just been the same size, and considering how monarchies work, they could have easily have been, right. you know, it would have been fine. It wouldn't have been fucking weird. It was weird. Right. You know? It was. Like, why did this have to be the same fucking age? Then the romance would have, like, almost been shoo-in made sense. Instead, it's like, hey, remember that fat kid with the bowl cut? The, the, the autistic sexy. one that can race? Yeah. Well, you know, sort of. His personality is fucking shocking because he's been raised in a demented battle convent and he just glares at you. <laughs> Are you an angel? Because yeah. all of his horny is just broken. It's Yoda whipping him every time he gets an erection. <laughs> He can sense them. That's the problem. So press the evil yeah. thoughts you must. Imagine that. Like, you, again, you'd think, you'd panic. You'd be like, oh, God, no. And that's and Yoda already knows. He's already on his way. Erections lead to the dark side. Yeah, they do. That's lust. You can't have lust if you're a fucking Jedi. Count can't Dooku be. Yeah. in a bikini I have seen. <laughs> Raw sexuality. Um, you can't be horny in a Jedi. Like, that's illegal. So you know that he was getting whipped in his bizarre, demented fucking battle convent? What did Obi-Wan do to him? I mean, something. I mean, why not just neuter him? I mean, the reality of the Jedi is weird when you fucking think about it. True. Because like, the thing is, I, you know, I'm for the good guys, but I also feel like I could fuck occasionally. You know, I don't... Because if it's a fucking choice, you know, I think I'll just be more a moderate Sith. Yeah. Um, so today we're doing something a bit different. I'm going to show you guys the newest content that's been added to Destiny. It's a dungeon. It's a pinnacle activity. It's usually made for three people. I'll be soloing it. Um, You've got 92 friends online. To catch you up. I do. A lot of friends. Catch you up sort of on Destiny and the general idea. Um, I don't we, think I speak to 92 separate people in a year. I mean, not counting like occasionally dismissive Twitter comments. All right, so we have our bowl, okay. Traveler. So basically a big big ass orb showed up, started terraforming planets, making things awesome for everyone. Uh, like, basically a sky god. Oh, oh. And human humans ushered into a golden era yeah. of civilization where our tech was at all-time okay. high and all shit like that. But then the collapse came. Oh. Um, the darkness, the Traveler's That's ancient evan enemy who nice. are shown as basically giant pyramids. At this point. Oh, that's pretty fucking sweet. Can we meet a giant pyramid? Um, they Aww. they came up and they fucked shit up. So, for example, on Titan, um, the gravity got inversed and they basically turned Titan into an egg. It squeezed Titan together as an egg and then let it go. It caused massive seismic tidal waves and just basically fucked over Titan. Titan was gone. Huh. Um, so now they come back and we've asked, we're sort of asking the nine and the nine basically beings of pure thought from all the dark matter streams all over the universe whose lives are basically tied into the celestial bodies of soul. Space nerds. So if soul goes, they go. So they very much want to live. Okay. So we're kind of asking them, hey, we need, what's the darkness? And this is what the dungeon's about. We're journeying into to talk to the nine to sort of see okay. what the darkness is about. So we're going into a scary house to ask ghosts why fucking people are turning Titan into an egg. Essentially, yes. Right, yeah. All right, nailed it. Stand this floor. Look like a robot. Uh, a robot leg. Right. Look like one of those things that shoots the lasers at Link in the towers. Yes. Imagine yeah. Breath of the Wild with Dark Souls invasions. I want to be one of those spider well, robots. Ways, you know, Breath of the Wild has some souls like elements. No, I always tell people, I tell the fucking sucking nitwits who complain about the Souls games being too hard. Breath of the Wild. The weight is too heavy. I lift the lighter one. Guardian, do you read? Errors. I got this. Go back to yelling at that tree on aisle. Uh, okay, so these are the bad ghosts, I'm guessing. Yes. Or, uh, well, why? Say, so, so these are the taken. Good, oh, so these are the bad guy ghosts that are in the good guy house. And we got to get through them to get to the good guys to ask them why the pyramids are being jerks. 
Essentially, yes. So this oh, is... Oh man, space politics is complicated. This is the first sort of area in the That's dungeon that teaches you the mechanics. Cut my penis off with a lightsaber and send me to the weird battle convent. Wait, fuck off. When he dies, he drops these moats. You suppose they have those, like, circumstabers? Fuck yeah. Because, okay, has it come up in the extended novels, extended universe novels, like, what the fucking... Because, I mean, they say love, but they mean horny. Like, horny is in there somewhere. Everyone always... Nobody talks about horny, but horny's there. It's like, the fucking... You know, if you can't have love, you can't have horny. Horny's gone before love's gone. So, see the edges of the screen? Yes. See when I'm in the dark? The dark? Uh-huh. Now when I'm in the light. Yeah, it's light. What does that do? So when I kill this knight... You drop light ones now because I was in the light. And what does that do? So when you kill the knights, depending where they are, so where he is now, he's, when I'm in the dark, he drops dark modes. Okay, yeah, but what... So we needed, once we collect a certain amount, We need some darkness and we need some lightness. And, uh. So once you get. We're gonna combine them. Five. Get one. And there was a dark pillar on there that I already cleansed. Alright. So we. Go. Whop. Go away! That opens the door. Right here. So usually, if you were doing this, like, as a fire team of three, you, I'd, you'd hopefully go in blind. I think if you read how to do it online and just. You're kind of robbing yourself. Of working out the puzzles and that, because a lot of it, that's the fun to me. Working out the encounters, what you have to do to progress. Right to go. Because it's not just, in these games, it's not just, you know, aim at something and just shoot it. Because right. dead, a lot of the times. They put little puzzles and other things. All right, so you have to figure out that killing and that getting the cube for the pyramids gets rid of the little sh That's right, yeah. That the, getting rid of the pillars opens the doors. And Ow, ow, fucking... Alright, light gets rid of the dark, and dark gets rid of the light, and purple hurts. We'll learn this game. What are those? I'm guessing those sizzly bits of ground aren't good for you. Ah, oh, they won't hurt me. It looked like the ground was on a fire, though. What does that do? I mean, assuming it does something. Oh, that, that, that was his fire. Oh, okay. Night shoot fire. Yeah, that hurts. Sizzle ground. That gun looks like a motorcycle. Yeah, fucking look at that. <laughs> fucking Canada rides that. So this is Fallen technology. The Fallen were the race who were blessed with the Traveler before us. Okay, okay. And they're kind of now a scattered group of scavengers that are very envious of us because we have their space god, basically. <laughs> I mean, by the looks of things, having space guards isn't at all it's cracked up to be. Ah, it's not that great. No, like, this seems like... What were we doing during the high period? I mean, like, just hanging out, playing video games, inventing new kinds of steak? We worked out how we could put human consciousnesses into, like, an exo body. All right. Well, updates on the steak, then. It's kind of cool, because they give... Them like synthetic organs and like reproduction system and stuff. Oh, cool. Because they have something called, um... Finally! You see, that was the last game we were playing didn't give us robot nuts. This game has robot nuts. And like, if someone's, like, if you're haggling, you know, if, if, if we're having a conversation about what, you know, body you'd want, you know, there's nuts and no nuts. So they have a disassociation, um, theory that basically the mind becomes more scattered the longer you're in their body. Right. So they do things like eating and stuff to basically sort of hold on to that yeah, little bit of to stay. humanity. Yeah. Which is really cool. Uh, so this is fucking rad. Alrighty. This is gonna rotate as we fight here. I fucking expect nothing less. This, this game needs the first boss. more Enya. Alright. So he's got a nice he's got a shield. shield. Phalanx Echo. Uh, that's a health bar at the top there. Yeah. 
and work out what's going on. Because there's a lot of like lights and shit, and it's hard for me to discern what are hurty lights and what are good lights. Alright, so up the top mid, that's my health bar. Yeah, no, I, mean, the, the, I managed to figure that out. Because I'm guessing you're not the Phalanx Echo. No, that's the boss. Phallus Reverberation. <laughs> Alright, yeah, take that, you fucking... Noise wall. Stop shooting me! Oh, look. Oh. Wasn't he shooting somebody else? <laughs> He's shooting where he thought I was. Oh, okay. I just gotta make a decision and stick to it. Dark with nice. a motorcycle gun. Motorcycle gun. Dude, it's one of the most OP guns in the game. I'd hope so. Like, if someone busted out a gun that looked like that and it was just like, oh yeah, that's your starting pistol. Like, alright, look, you know. Cuddle have your design department settle the fuck down sometimes. Alright, so I'm assuming you gotta get rid of all these things and- Ow! You fucking butt plug. I'm guessing you can't- Oh, Jesus. And you do damage to him until you dismiss, dismiss these little fucking pillars? Gotta get rid of his shield first. That's- is getting the pillars do that? Uh, no, just get- Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets rid of the shield. So, Anarchy is really good because it's- It attaches to them. Okay. And it does damage over time. Everyone loves damage over time. Set and console And it's fire. really powerful. And it's fucking really powerful with this encounter because you can just go boink and then hide. Run away. And it's like, do I need dark? Well, I'll just stay in the dark. And he's gonna die. Hey. Oi, 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 oi. Alright. Ah. Daddy, no! Whoa! Fucking. It's cool because it keeps the fight dynamic because you can't keep going to the exact same spots because the light changes. Oh, I see. Uh, it creates. All right. Different shadows and stuff, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 so wait, it might wait. force you to fight in a more open area. And that will probably alter what you can do and thus make different forms of weapons useful with different kinds and stuff so you can't just... Woo! Come in with the super U butte gun that you're always using. I'd have to actually like Motherfucker. Think. Sir. Stop. Sir, sir, I have to ask you to calm down. Boom. Space grenade launcher. Just space grenades. Oh, 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 oh. A lot of shooting at you going on there, Aaron. How you doing? Daddy, no! Alright. That's by far the safer one. <laughs> Got wrecked. Alright, come on. Let's get enough of these moats and destroy the penis disco. Fun fact, all the robot howls you. Our Carrie Ann Kennelly speeches slowed down. Alright, so have you got rid of his shielding and shit now? You can. Mm -hmm. yeah, fuck yeah. Eat shit, you tubby bitch. So, uh, this is my super. It's a tether. It increases damage to enemies by 30%. Wait. And it does a shitload of damage. Oh, fucking goblins. You turned into laser Jeremy Renner. Pretty much. Oh, good lord. These are better. <laughs> I clenched my bum then. I was so nervous I clenched somebody else's <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Look. Fuck off. I'm shooting the cunt. Ah. What are they doing? So goblins are very annoying because they shield. See uh. he's how he's got a blow on him? Alright. Uh, they shield each other and make them immune. Oh, well fuck. But I've got a sticky grenade launcher. No one's immune to that. Ain't no vaccine for grenades yet. One day, though. See, what they do, Aaron, is they get a little bit of grenade. They make you hold a Tom Thumb firecracker. It goes off in your hand. And then you're immune to grenades. Yeah. It's useful. Yeah. 
So you... Is there a point where you've got, like, fucking, you know, Shield Wilbur's fucking shield down for good, or is this kind of a persistent thing where you got to... Nah, this is just it. You're just going to do it till you kill him. Uh, yeah. Fortunately, I got a fuckload of goblins. I can, can do him in one phase, but... If the goblins shield him, sometimes it's a bit of a fucking arsehole. What's that grenade you're throwing at the wall near you? This one? Yeah. That's a smoke grenade, so that's making uh, me invisible. Okay. So I play a this, this class as a few. Oh come on, sort of things. So you see the mid thing? That's my smoke. Uh -huh. When I do that, one on the right starts going up further. That's uh -huh. my dodge. So if I dodge near an enemy, I get my smoke nade back. He died, so I didn't get it. And that's giving me a buff that makes me move faster, do a few things faster recharge times. Right. Strategies. Strategoids. Strategenies. Stratego. I've got Stratego. Sir? Uh, I don't want to Oh, I needed light. Oh. Off. Shits. You have to be in the light when you kill them or the shadow when you kill them. Yeah, the light. Come to the light. Uh oh. Not that much light. Oh my god, bro. He's on my bum. Stop. Come to the bottom of it. Oh, 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 bro, uh, Where'd did you get you that help? Fucking from? not. So that is my exotic piece of armor. Okay. You can wear one piece of exotic armor, and basically they have. Usually certain awesome. properties. So whenever I do a dodge, I get health. Oh. That's handy. So very good survivability. Because normally, I mean, does this, does the game sort of like modify the damage a little bit if it's just you? Like I'm assuming it's changes slightly so it's not Ew. just... Oh, really? That's why these sorts of thing, activities are generally harder. And... So sometimes have sought Hello. after rewards. What have I got? Oh, Unlight left. What are you fucking die, you fucking moot? Ah. Uh, not get me crime in the far dimension. Can they see you while you're Ripley? I'm guessing. No. Like, not well. Oh. I just keep thinking to how, like, imagine if killing small shit was like this for us, you know? Like, cockroaches were just leaping around rolling and fucking one of them has a smoke grenade and you're like, well, yeah, yeah this is <laughs> bullshit. All right. Has that not got all of them? Get them. Fucking get them. Get them. Can't see you. Yeah. Aw, oh, fucking, look, put that down, you fucking cheater. I'm saying you're not allowed to use the shield anymore because it's cheating. Yes, you did. Uh. Ah. God damn it. Fuck you, penis retro. Ah, you fucking goblins. What are they? They're just fucking. Oh, they're just staring at each other. They're, they're right, shielding each other. Her eyes met across a room. It's very rare, but it happens when the two just shield each other and you can't do anything to them. But they can't attack they you because they're shielding each other. They can't do anything. All right. I'm guessing all those little globs and shit are the fancy things, or you can trade for fancy things. And... Yep. Ready to get purpled. Whole thing looks like a rich dude's Zen garden. You need more tubes to get about town. Now they don't need to be real fucking teleport tubes. Like they could just be like a slide with like some light effects in it and shit. That'd be fun. That'd be some, you know, be a good tourist attraction. So this is the wasteland. Yup. It certainly is. Now the cool thing about this is waste camels. There's bubble areas here. So you go over here, 
And those who play Destiny will see this. This is actually on Mars. You can see this on Mars. Okay. And the Wasteland has Salubus. little pockets. And in the big fall update, Mars is going, Mercury is going, Titan's going. Um, another one too. Steve. It. Yeah, Steve's going. It's the hidden. It's and the these hidden planet. are the, all the planets that are going. Okay. So these are the prophecies of of what's happening. Uh, oh, goodbye, I see you Clovis there. Building. I can... Oh, my knees! I think you're clever with your invisibility. Even that invisible. Fuck yeah! That's right. I ride a light cycle. Now. I love this thing because it lights up when you boost. That's what you want. Plus matrix. It looks like a pa <laughs> It does look like a paddle pop stick from the future though. Looks like, like if you it go looks side like, on, like it's like the clip art. Hmm. Clippy. Oh, yeah, Fuck yeah. is the bubble? I like this tricks. Wow. Right? Fucking dinosaur bones. I know whale. Don't touch so me. What are you looking for in here? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Look, sir, so I've had that? enough of your business. Are you looking for that thing? Yes. Jesus, fuck off. Oh, a geyser. Uh, you gotta end its phase on corruption. Donald phase on corruption? <laughs> Right, so you have to kill the balls to get rid of the balls that open up. I'm guessing after you kill all the balls, it gets sent to another boss ball. Because that's another ball. Yeah, you got to kill these, right? Yeah, you got to kill the balls. Oh. Man, I'm figuring anything that looks like a weird egg sack that's spilling blackness out into the fucking wasteland Generally, is probably not good for you. If you were doing a solo run, to try to get flawless without dying. You would not be doing it this, this way. It's, you'd be playing it safe. <laughs> uh, Aaron Danger Costello doesn't know the meaning of the word safe. So then you touch Toland. Went to special school. Who's that little orb? And he flies away. And he goes to another one. It's three of them. Did you, you kill those things? I killed the bubbles. That's all I needed to kill. Speed running this shit. It was Toland. He was that little ball. I didn't even see the ball. I'll show Let's you. Take your word for it. So Toland's pretty cool. He heard that the hive have a death song, so the hive are sort of a shitty race of creatures, and they have a death song. If that you hear it, it unravels you piece by piece. Ah, oh, the anti-life equation. Pretty much, and he wanted to hear it. And he had a chance All to right. hear it, and basically he abandoned his fire team to go hear it, and die. And in so he basically transcended life. Now he's stuck sort of half in between, that's him there. Alright. In what's known as the Ascendant Realm. Fuck. Physics is crazy. So the big, well, the big basis for a lot of things in Destiny is what's called the Sword Theory. And that the more you kill with your sword, the more you gain in power. Right. And as you gain more power, you can build your Ascendant Realm bigger, which is basically a pocket universe where your soul lives. You can't be killed in the physical world as long as your throne world so you can Ascendant make a Jesus Realm exists. House using your sword. Pretty much. Um, All right. That's a lot more fun than turning the other cheek, I've got to say. And we so killed the horse, Taken King, Jesus. who was basically... Okay. One of the biggest and baddest sort of ascendant Boss realms. Jesus. And Toland wanted us to take the mantle over it, and we didn't. And it's just a big, the whole big thing. It was a whole big deal. Wasn't this like the final season of Stargate? Probably. I feel like it was. I remember watching a bunch of that. Like, I started watching it when they had these little Meccano robots that were kind of like the Borg, but not. Yeah. And then I managed to get rid of them. Then they got stuck dealing with space Catholics. And that was actually I kind of worse. 
take the Borg over yeah, space well, they Catholics. Were, they were the Ori, and so they had actual, like, god powers, sort of, but, like, super being powers. And so they went around and gave fragments of this to, like, ants. And the thing is, like, you know, when a Catholic priest comes along and goes, this is, like, here, have some Christ wine. It's just made up bullshit, and then they molest your kids. So it's all kind of crap. But, like, if one of them, if just one of them could rock up with actual, like, fucking Christ abilities, you'd be like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But these people are going around to, like, fucking hick planets and stuff with, like, actual powers. <laughs> and the thing is, yeah, because then you just fucking, like, you know, you're crazy not to fucking worship that person because look at him. He's got, like, fucking blue eyes and he can float and shit. Like, that's, you know. Someone's god somewhere is doing the hard work. You know? Of course you're going to worship the god that actually shows up. Now, this is fucking really interesting to me. This is labeled as hell. heaven okay. slash hell. Yeah, you know, same difference. Really. And when you come in... Like, pedophile heaven is child hell. That's where all the, uh, you know, that's original sin, people. That's, you know, that's where they go. As you come in, you notice... Notice sort of the, the, the tinge of the room is reddish. Uh-huh. And stuff. So this is the hexahedron. Ooh. Now, generally, this is where you put down a rally flag if you have them. They regen all your super, give you full ammo and stuff. Basically, to get your team up ready for the encounter. Right. I don't run them because they're for pussies. Slash I'm broke and haven't bothered bar- buying anymore. <laughs> and like, I've like video game broke or like Yeah, video money game broke. broke. Okay. Yeah, no, it's not a, a there's no pay to win one. elements in okay. this game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're purely right. cosmetic. So he flies off. Uh, and right. if you notice he's up there now. Up there. You gotta get up there. So you'd think so. No. Now where's the hobgoblin? Right, shit. I think someone gave you like a sniper grenade launch. Just this is the mountain top. Fucking Rex house. One of the most, another one of the most OP guns in the game. Oh no! <laughs> All right, so if the smoke grenade goes off on you, you get covered in fart juice that makes you invisible. Correct. Okay. Now I'm starting. To I'm starting to figure out why. Oh, was he there? Oh. So he's nope. on a darkness plate, so he needs stuck. It's interesting that it matters where you are when you kill them and not where they are. Oh, come now. That's just silly. Oh, now really? Oh, now really, Niles? I love Fraser. I sure. feel like... Like, the Frasier character is just one of those characters where you could just put him into all sorts of ridiculous... Like, him and Niles, you could just put into all sorts of ridiculous situations. <laughs> like, someone pointed out that Undertaker looks shitloads like Frasier, and there are a few shots particularly, and it's, like, it's one of, like, you know, just Undertaker in the ring, and it just looks like Kelsey Grammer. And it, someone just captured it with, oh, now, now, Niles, this is the most trouble you've ever got us into. Just perfect. So the room's rotated now? Oh, fuck me. Right, so you're fighting the Goblin King to get like a little kid back. You're in the Escher oh, really? staircase. Sure. Fucking David Bowie's nuts are gonna make an appearance soon. That's what all that's what all the fucking dust motes are. They're like David Bowie sexuality coins. Sometimes he's straight, sometimes he's gay. Oh, really? There you go. All right, so those ground fires are fire. Yes. Okay. Because these games have a lot of shit where it's just like, that's fire, but you stand in it and you get fire points and it makes all your bullets burn or something. Eddie, no! So then that, you go on this, and then it lifts you up into the cube. You go, fun. All and right. it flips through. And we're, so what we're doing is we're actually painting symbols on each part of the cube. Ah, uh, okay. So sometimes... Oh, what the fuck? Fill in the hole. Alright. Like now, he's on the ceiling. Okay. So it doesn't matter what one we do, because it's just going to rotate him to one of the sides. So the room actually rotates on whichever side you dunk it on. Oh, Betty. Get him, Canada. Oh, 
Oh, what, what was it again? Oh, yeah, anything. <laughs> I'm gonna have those then. What? <laughs> This is one of those games where the lore has been going for so long. Yep. There's something you can do if you're trying to do this solo yourself. You don't actually have to go up. You can just slide off the plate and it will, and it will just warp you, which is a lot safer because you don't just get flipped up in the air while everything's shooting at you. <laughs> oh shit, I'm already at the boss. Does this room work as normal? I don't know. I've never had this room as a normal room. Okay, interesting. It's usually well, where the boss is. This is a story all about how my cube got flipped on up inside. It's Colin. Thwomp. Very satisfying, Thwomp. The noise for it in Terminator 2 is something that I just fucking love. Like, I've got an almost emotional response to that <laughs> noise. Satisfying sound. Bring me a knight. That I might live again. Space knife. Cuts your space arteries. <laughs> Batteries. <laughs> God, I feel like one of you fucking el oh, fucking buggery. I feel like one of you elder gods could be helping out here, you know? Hey, come back here, you little bastard. I'm gonna become an elder god and I'm gonna fucking invent a bottom just so I can smack it. Finisher. Uh, fuck yeah. Well, I hope I get a Shara Yukin. Is there? Yes. Oh, rad. Ow. I eat shit, space tourist. What I needed was it dark? Light. So it's only the horn dudes that killing will give you the doodad. That is correct. Uh huh. All these delicious light meats. Stop fucking doing that! Rude cunt. What does it tell you how many of the little doobie whackers you need? So down the bottom left. I pick up it says light modes like times one, etc. etc. Huh. When you get to five, that's when it gives you the okay, right. ball. I fucking sure you can one of these motherfuckers. Damn it. Alright. What's going on? Oh yeah. Okay. Like some oh, the weird bosses are in this room. Desert Is Tron it? shit going on. Oh, okay, right, another this room. No, no, no. Alright. Thought it was. One after this. Music. I was say, what was... the fuck? What? I've never been in this room before. This room is hectic. What the fuck? It was three goblins. They're coming to get you, Aaron. Dude, they are. They know. They know who you are. Where the they fuck know is what you're up to. Oh my god, there's fucking. <gasps> what the fuck? They've seen through your bullshit. Where's Toland? They're like, oh, look at Mr. Smart Guy here with his fucking being good at the game and his fucking Canada gun and all that shit. Uh, guess what? He got your fucking chuckles for you. He's gone. He's like fucking run away. He's gone home. Dude, what's the. Gone back fuck? to his god dimension. They're sick of your shit, Aaron. No? Apparently. And I gotta say, I I, 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 I agree with him. No, I feel like you've just been, oh, you're running out of ammo, Aaron. Uh-oh. I'm just getting the fuck out of here. Ooh. He's still busting out the daddy nose. Gonna hide in his dark corner and smother himself in delicious fart juice. Whoop. I, okay. I, there, uh, finally. This is the boss room. All right. 
All right, it turns out you can actually fucking go past the boss. Okay, so you had to go back. Yeah. Huh. Um, all right, what makes these guys bossy? Just, just a lot of health. They're just chunks, basically. If you don't kill them quickly, they add spawn and you know, over on the oh, room. God. Those are where the grenade launches. So now... Handy. Negative space. We're on the light side, and up the top is four. There's it's actually the... hidden things in these dungeons, and it's really cute because in the first room, there's one hidden right at the top you climb. Huh? In this one, there's also one hidden right up the top that's hanging from the ceiling. So you have to jump off and sort of hover for a bit to grab it. All right. It's a nice little, little touch. Can we go back out here? All right. And now exiting the vagina. Being born once so we were, universe. as far as I can sort of tell, they're sort of painting the darkness as their hell. And now we're right. sort of moving back wow, heaven. into heaven. Which is where and you it, can, you know. As far as what I can tell, can, yeah, this heaven the is darkness back plan is to cents. invade heaven, basically, and take the oh, light from us. Okay. You're rude buggers. Who's in charge? Who's Who does this? Who keeps building dimensions and then fucking off? Like, you're not allowed to do that, right? You gotta fucking have some, you know, responsibility for the dimensions that you build. Oh. Tron. The Tron dimension. Fuck yeah. This is one of the most breathtaking things you'll ever see in this game. This is just fucking peak. This is what Destiny is to me. Shit like oh, this. Fuck yeah. Like... See, that's what I was thinking when you were talking about evil fucking pyramids. I mean, mine had a big human eye in the center of it. But yeah, basically, this is just like dead on what I was like, you know. It's nice. You don't see like enough of like, you know, really just sort of high, high level surrealism, you know? Like if there were some more elephants with giraffe legs and maybe, I, I, I mean, I'd have a few eyes in there, you know? I, I like, you know, being watched is important. Just two eyes and a mouth, but like around. What even are you shooting at? I am fucking. I don't even see. Like, fucking. <laughs> I like. See, this is why they mail you into bonus rooms of cunts, is because that's bullshit. I don't know how you knew. Like, you I know knew where they spawn. There. Right. So that's, I just. I, I can hit them from the length where they. They basically. Can't do anything to they're locked into like spawn, that. yeah. And that's, you know. The snipers. Fuck them. Yeah, I, look, I'm not. I'm not saying they didn't have it coming. I'm just saying that watching you play this just feels like cheating in a lot of ways. I'm just very practiced because, like, doing this solo is hard and it's nerve wracking. Because if you die, that's the thing gone. Die in real life. <laughs> Deep metal. Uh, look at that. I wonder what those guys are up to. That's like a whole They're dimension. Just hanging out. I remember I had this fucked up dream when I was like a kid. I think it was like four or some shit. And it was after looking at like, because my parents had these fucking surrealist prints around. I think that's. It's, it's a weird thing to have around fucking kids. Because, like, your brain's not set yet, you know? Your skull's barely even fucking done. Like, that's pretty sweet. But, like, you know, you can't just... When, you, when you're still not sure how fucking physics works, you can't just have that shit around. Because I had this fucking dream. It's like this... I was in this, you know, environmental space in, like, a geodesic dome in this, like, fucking impossible fucking physics space. And there were... All these tiny little green, like, kind of moss-covered islands, and there was all this kind of, like, steamy water in between them. And on these moss-covered islands, there was, like, tiny little elephants, but some of them had two heads and shit. Uh, this totally debated us when we were looking for secrets and shit. We're like, there must be something down there. It's just a pit. And you jump down there, and it's a f funnel into a pit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bungie does lots of little stuff like that to fuck you over, and it's very fun. A reverse Korok. What's down here? Your death! Uh-huh. We found you. Like in the Pit of Heresy, which is this big sort of giant dungeon on the moon, it goes down into the moon and you get to this doors, hundreds of doors, and you're like, they got symbols about them. You're like, oh, this must be a puzzle. I must have to, you know, find the right one. There's probably only one correct one. They're probably going to just loop me around. So you're like, I'll just test. I'll go into one. You walk in it, and a giant piston just goes thunk, 
just kills you and launches you out. <laughs> it's a complete fake out. There's just a little crack hidden somewhere that you go through to the next area. I, and again, like, you know, I want you to think about this, patrons. The more you give me, the closer I get to this dream. I want a house where you can open a door and there's just an enormous pneumatic rubber glove, fist glove in there. And it's padded, you know, it's not like made of rocks. Safe. Yeah, and if you open it, it just... It, and I'll just have a webcam on that sucker, you know? And that'll be in my atrium, so, like, I won't have a no hawkers sign. And I'll have what I can only describe <laughs> as a very deliberately, suspiciously inviting, uh, you know, door. That will let people, uh, people go, oh, yeah, I'll knock on this guy's door and see if he wants to talk about, like, our deranged Mormon Christ. And, you know, then they'll meet the fist, you know? All right, so but that's another little cunty thing they do there. Those phalanxes have shields. They knock you off. Mm. And they spawn them behind the bowl. All and these the first places... time you jump in, you're like, oh, I'm just... Oh, and then it spawns down and goes, bump. Oh. This, this whole place looks like the cover of those books from the 90s about the internet. Yeah. I'll be your internaut. <laughs> so this is the that's the emblem you get for finishing it. This one here, psychedelic looking thing. It's oh, like it's, a concentric circles. Oh, I always run that one because I like Crack the me all back. I like the triangle thing. Yeah, man, triangles are rad. It's like the first shape because otherwise it has got two lines sitting beside each other. Although I suppose a circle is the first shape. It is the final shape. Though so really, when you think about it, a circle's just like a lot of very, very small angles. So really, I suppose a circle's the last shape, but the triangle's the first shape. Although really, now you're just getting into an Alpha and Omega situation. I think the circle is the mother and the triangle is the father. And really, we're all just tiny little shapes running around like pyramid dimension. How dare you shield him? Now you die. Spooging shield goo onto your friends. Not on your friends makes them invincible for five seconds. <laughs> Dude. Military charters would be something interesting to see. Pick, deploy the cum. Yeah. Well, you need a lot of gay guys that just love phalanxes of burly men. And, I mean, look, they're out there. Like, you can find those. These ones got boopies. Yeah, you'd need to have them, like, fluffed. Those spots in general. Those spots are physics boops. Oh, okay. I thought you said boobies is in like like titties, not boops. Eh. Boops. It's in gentle nudges that may shove you off into I do like that they expect you to see this and then go, alright, I guess I'll just navigate my way down the fucking brain ribbons. I mean, if I were the fucking pyramid god, I'd just have these ribbons, you know, be like a Mobius thing that just go on forever and you never really reach me. I mean, I cheat. Like, I, you know, I don't, there's nothing, nothing in the rule pyramid guide says I have to give you a path to fucking where my brain lives. My brain will do what I want. I want to, I don't, I don't, I don't know. When's that coming out? Uh, September, I think. September's it's a hectic to month, be a bro. fucking chunky month, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? All right. Ooh, the pyramid. <laughs> I love to imagine all these guys are up here, just having a rave. Yeah, that was exactly what was going. No, because they were all in the line. They were line dancing. <laughs> just achy breaky heart was blaring through the fucking vaporwave pyramid. The thing is, to them, this isn't vaporwave. This is country. It's their country. <laughs> like they're made of fucking hallucinogenic lights. You no, know, that's you, you can't just fucking. All of this is the equivalent of, like, a steer skull on the wall for them. I wonder if anybody's tried Vaporwave Country yet. Because if not, I'm going to get on the fucking, you know, on the fucking edge of this and call myself Vaporwave Cyrus. <laughs> Vapor A Cyrus. That's fantastic. Uh, I support this. I'm available for weddings, children's birthdays. 
Um, neither of them like me. I get terrible reviews. Right, but so I am very cheap. So there's a boss in each corner of the room. So we got to dunk that on that. Okay. Which will make him go whoosh. Here he goes. All right. Whoosh. Where's he whooshing off to? Oh, there he is. Uh, that's an ogre. Oh, so okay. then an ogre spawns there. So generally, if you're doing this solo, you want to get that ogre down. Like, that ogre will fuck your life if it gets away. Because it will just hunt you down fast and hard. He does not care for shenanigans. Leave their little evil shenanigans. Oats. Oh. Sir. Sir. Thank you. Sir. So, if you please just roll over and die now. Drop your little light pyramids. So, it's good to have a grenade down ready. Then you stick one to his face, then you go boom. And you pretty much can leave him to die. Alright, so That's why this gun is one of the most OP things in this game. What the fuck is it again? Like, I know it looks like a motorcycle. What are all those dials telling me? Like, what's what are we reloading when we load it? So it it has those in it. Oh, okay, right, right. So it's a little shooting little canisters a thing. What's in the canisters? Is it a drill? Is it? Is so it like they the stick and then ball? pulse arc energy. Okay. So it's like those fucking taser slugs that they can put in shotguns and shit. Essentially, yeah. Oh no. That's fine. You can't see me! I'm hiding! Yes. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What gives you health back besides rolling? Like, is there shit that, like, uh, there, it regens just, naturally. Oh, okay. Um, you have a stat that determines its regen too. Okay, okay. Uh, you can also, if you're running a certain perk, when you pick up orbs of light, that regens you. Okay. And so. Like for example, right, so if, I ki if I kill two, you can do to go to health. If I kill two enemies, see so it drop that orb. Uh -huh. That Good gives sure. me some super energy, and also heals me with the mod I've got on. Oh. Let's try to show you one of these motherfuckers before I move on. Well, that's a lot of motherfuckers. I mean, don't die just. Oh, I'm, just not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I, 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 need... I don't want to be in this this long, just for you to fucking get killed. Like I want to see. Uh, I'm good. I want to see you meet the Prince of Pyramids or whatever. Hey, he's right here. How'd you get in my fancy house? Alright, so is that the boss you fucking built? Yeah. So this guy has a few different moves. That big sort of stream thing you see him emitting. Yeah. That teleports you back. Ah, cool. To the so start, yeah, so you've got, got to stay like a, near him. Yeah. He's got a big field out of him. And that dark entropy stacking up yeah. when I'm not on that field. And if it gets to 10, I die. Huh. That's, that's no good. I mean, entropy is pretty bad as it is. I don't think it necessarily needs to be, you know, dark to make it worse. Someone said, oh, hey, Gabe, we're going to load you up with entropy. And I'll, I was like, huh? And they were like, don't worry, it's good entropy. No, it's, it's light entropy. Entropy light. No, it's uh, it's fine. Fine, fine. What happens when you chase him to his destination? See, this is the problem, you know. You build your universe out of your, you know, unbreakable mind matter, and it blo winds up blocking your teleport balls, you know? And the contractors brought this up when you, you know, specify the design. They were like, okay, but like, look, we can install all this, but it's, it's, you're going to block your own teleport balls. And I bet he was like, when am I going to have to throw teleport balls in my own house? Fucking think. <laughs> this is why I'm the pyramid god and you're just the fucking, you know, contractors, the pyramid god. You also work for hexagon gods as well. Oh, not the hexagons. Those are bastards. Yeah, they're really racist. So now... 
We go back and the room changes and it gets harder. Fucking Jesus. Oh man, he's like only sort of just on half. Well, you're supposed to have three people. Oh, okay. That's still more damage than most people do with three though. Attention, get out of my ballroom. Wait, do we have to do the whole thing again? You gotta do the same thing in a different room, yeah. yeah. So just, it's basically when you do it solo, it takes usually three phases, unless you can get really good RNG or you run less protection mods, but I prefer to survive. Because yeah, yeah, it's helpful, dead damage is you know? no damage. <laughs> Undo damage when you're dead. I like how the pyramid gods just got some kind of fucking moon shotgun. Like, he's just up there like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. We are going to battle in the quadrant of the mind where physics as you know it will take a vacation and the very world will twist against you. I am going to shoot you with a brain shotgun <laughs> from a distance and chuck fucking little physical shapes at you. There's a very familiar amount of arms and legs and something that could be identified from a distance as a kind of face. Oh, well, we got lights, lights. Okay. Look, did you die? Why aren't you dead? Dude, really? None of they stuck to them? Oh, God. I'm fine. Like, this game needs to get really fucking hectic. Like, every now and then you shoot a couple of guys and then suddenly... Like, you're doing a speech check in a completely different graphic style, <laughs> and then... You know, it's a pic- then suddenly there's like a big picture of you that the fucking webcam took without your knowledge or consent. And they should give me a budget to make one of these games, eh? You fucking- You wanna fight a fucking space pyramid god? I got your fucking space pyramid god shit right here. So the idea basically is the longer you take to kill the boss, the harder the runes get because you, they, you start losing cover and stuff. Yeah. Because, uh, like, dealing with the ogre is hard unless you're set up to deal with him straight away. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll fuck your life. But the enemies tend to spawn at the same sort of time. Yeah, well, it's the classic you thing of, not? like, you've got a job to do, but moon goblins are constantly fucking with your shit. Hail as old as time. Moon goblins. Yeah, I mean, that's what that is. Oh, this is, oh, you know, this, this is machine elves. So we're, we're, we've fucking taken enough ketamine to go to their house. And they're like, eh, no, this isn't how this works. Like, that's, you know, we come to you. You know, you don't fucking, you know, this you isn't, this isn't a two-way fucking, yeah, this isn't a two-way thing. Like, I mean, look, we're going to get fucking, you know, old big elf up there with his fucking shotgun and he's not afraid to use that. I'm not even sure where he got it. He was the last one of you bastards to come barging his way in here. He was from the future though. Time is not the same in the machine elf dimension. I believe that. No. It's, no. it's like, you know, I can come to this house and it's a different place. Except this house is like... 40,000 years ago on the planet. Oh. oh, but it doesn't matter because we're already at the start. Ah, uh, yeah, you're not so smart now, are you, with your goddamn fucking teleport beams? You suck at this teleport beam business. Like, you suck strategically in, in a lot of ways. You know, like, you're not... I mean, for the... Avatar of a pyramid monster, you know? Like, I mean, it's my dimension. I just say grenade launchers don't hurt anymore. You're like, huh? I'll do with that. I'll be the ticket. Yeah. You'll be like, ah, but no. I'm not gonna fucking chuck a fucking teleport, you know, machine at him. I'm just gonna, you know, fuck it. You know what? Now you're a teacup. Yeah. How about that? And the tea I'm filling you with is the disappointment of your long dead mother. What pyramid god? You don't want to tell me what to do. Bubba's Pyramid God Weapons Fucking Smith. 
suppose. I mean, like, do the gods have a south? Or is it like England where it's a north? Similar to here, like, the south here is the civilized part. Unless you go too far south, and then you're in Tasmania. But I mean, if you go, like, if you go much north of Brisbane, it's just, you know. Then you're in North Queensland. Which is not good. Then, you know, if you go much further than that, you're in far north Queensland, which may as well not be a place of rules or civilization at all. Man, I got a lot of damage to him on that one. Fuck you, I'm going back to my pink dimension. Far north Queensland. <laughs> the final yeah. Queenslander. Final North Queensland. Uh. That dropped me very, very uh, high. What's going on? Uh, I, uh fucking, uh, you know, I got the queezies. This room sucks truck nuts. There There's like no cover. Shotgun Gary can hit you from anywhere. Uh, okay, so he is in three places at once. All right. Yeah, so I, they, I they disappear. I thought they were being clever. They disappear as you totally deposit clever. them, yeah. He sort of like splits and our job is to get him back together so we can fight him. What have I got light? Alright, now to be fair, being in three places at once is a- yeah, that's, that's some god tactics right there. That's, that's what I'd expect. That's the- I think what the Catholics call the Shit. triumvirate. Uh, oh no! Oh, there's like four different delicious god bits at once. I don't think I got it. I don't care. One of them's uh, a form of biscuit. I'm alive, that's all that matters. I think he's a- what is he? He's a- Father, a son, and a Holy Ghost Buster. Which Father's I, son left to carry on blue denim in his vein. Yeah, yeah, which I, I, I do believe I think is canonically, obviously, it has to be uh, fucking Ray. It's, it's not Venkman and it's not Egon and you know, it's not Winston. It's, it's Ray. So let's face it, it's Ray. It's me. Oh, no! Uh, I didn't think I got the last mode. When you get the last mode, it instantly puts you into that mode. Okay. To carrying shit. So you know you can't shoot if you got the last one or something. That's right. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. There's like a lot of guys behind you, I think. There is. Stage is the business. You get close to them. An ogre is nearly dead, but oh, what's happened there? All right, give me your evil Lego so I can defeat fucking. I didn't even see what kind of shape it is. I think there's some extra arms in there. I feel like I mean, all right, they can't have like wacky designs for every fucking grunt, but I feel like the boss monster should be a little more. Multi dimension y, or you know, something along those lines. So, it's actually a rather big law thing because the boss is supposed to be um, er Erasmus, who is the. who up until this point was a fallen. Those scavengers we were talking about earlier. Uh huh. And it looks like now she's been taken. And being taken is like the power of the deep, basically they take your will and control you. Um, so it's, yeah, That's sort of, good. it's very big deep lore and stuff, implications and a lot of other shit. But I can't concentrate on at the particular moment. Big deep. It's your lore, big deep. I'm telling that's my takeaway from this, is the lore in this game is big deep. <laughs> Pretty much. So I'm sticking with that. It's gotta be big deep. Is your law piss? Your law's not big deep. I'm fucking, you know. Big Zam! Yeah, what am I even here for then? Fucking. Oh! Oh yeah, see those little fucking. Because your gun that shoots tent pegs, the tents erect themselves and then become fucking burdensome on the ground for the various fucking walking cunts. You know what this game needs? A thing where you get absorbed and become the monster god and you've got to spawn a mob of cunts and try and get rid of some bullshit OP cunt with a bunch of fucking epic loot and shit. That'd be cool. And then you're like, ah, oh, fuck, this isn't as fun as it is from this side. <laughs> it's practically cheap. Ah, oh, he's got health again. 
I've been fucking hitting him for an hour. Fucking, oh yeah, look, I just killed all the things that spawned again. Uh, fucking, you know. Odds, can we remove that grenade launcher, please? I mean, he's clearly fucking, you know, rigged the game, so all of his shit just does lots of persistent damage for extended periods. And I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to beat that. That's just not enjoyable. I stand by that as a decision, though. They should absolutely, in law, like, have you know, player character McBeef become fucking, you know, space monster. Or maybe they could do that as, like, a thing in the game. Like, someone, when you're playing with a party, some random cunt gets, like, blessings. Gets absorbed and gets, like, fucking, you know, Jesus biscuit powers and stuff, and then... And you think that's great, but then you want to kill him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I got no clue, bro. Alright. We have a grenade launcher. It's time to beat God. Let's attack a dethrone God. Basically a bogan name. Fighting the god of bogans. Cow! Cow! Fucking swift on the dodge. Ow, that hurt me. Alright, come on, die. I'm die. Oh, oh, is that it? All right, yeah, all right. If there's an end, <laughs> if there's an anti-life equation, there's got to be an. Oh, all right. See now, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm imagining. Huh? Right. End of Evangelion shit. I'll absorb me into your head vagina. The Vala will disagree. Well, well, well. I have a lap. Perhaps you'd like to stroke it? it? What's that? That is the emissary of the nine. Okay. So she used to be person until she basically came their sort of conduit to interact with oh, physical like world. Oh, like Cisco from Deep Space Nine, except they didn't make Cisco into a giant. Which would have made Deep Space Nine a lot more fun, actually. So after a while, I want to go stop that. I don't know what that is. It's probably something important, Aaron. You can't just go, like, fucking shoot. That's how I fucking understand everything in this game. Just shoot it. And that seems to be this game, basically. Alright, so what's going on? I'm just waiting for the end timer. Oh, okay. I want to see the time it took. Game. See if I'm quicker than my last run. I feel I'm not. Does that thing move at all? No. Oh, that'd be cool if it like looks at you and goes, Yeah, you did good. <laughs> you and your laser. Toad's voice. You did great! Echoing. <laughs> Welcome to the Toadverse. That was three minutes slower than last time. Ah, oh, you fucking turd. I know, right? You worthless piece of fucking I'm shit. I'm pretty sure I got 151 kills last time, too. I hate you. <laughs> See, that's one of the hardest activities in the game. And I, um, make it look pretty easy, don't I? Um, yeah. Like, <laughs> to the point where I'm just like, oh, this just seems like bullshit, because you never die, and your guns seem unfair. <laughs> and, like, once or twice, there was, like, twice we went, ooh, and that's, like, the closest we got to sucking, you know, to fucking. And it's one of those things, you know, it's like when you see a gymnast do, like, just, you know, a chin-up twirly well, and you're like, you know, that's hard. Like, I can do a bunch of chin-ups, but, like, I, you know, I don't know, I don't know, actually. I haven't had a full... Because all my chin-up bars are under the house, and I can't, like, fucking... You know, there's a there's a house above me. I can't do a twirl, because then I'm just hitting the floor of my bedroom. But maybe, I don't know. 
Belgian flying kick? Okay, that's just Okada's drop kick. I know that when I see it. Rainmaker should be in here. Oof. So where's the fucking... Shoryuken? Headbutt. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Like my body gun. Valkyrie and Impaler. Wait. New ones. I actually haven't seen these ones. Volleyball spike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's soccer and fucking volleyball and shit. This is just silly buggers. <laughs> That's fucking Kim. That's Bison. Oh, yeah. You press Nightmare. She'll throw. Yeah, I'll just... She'll slash. I need your energy. <laughs> Finishes are cool. I didn't get the... There was a flash kick one. People of Brisbane, lend me your energy. No, I didn't end up getting that one. No. Oh, that's shit energy. Brisbane, fuck off. <laughs> Far North Queensland, lend me your methodology. <laughs> yeah, then if you do that solo, you get this nice little emblem, and it's. They should really just call it Too Far North Queensland. Once you're there, you've gone too far north. You should, should just stop. <laughs> like, never go past the fucking Australia Zoo. Yeah. Just never go beyond that. That's like the final marker. That's and how, like, they have usually, like, something like. Something dead zone and stuff. Yeah. It's just the Australia, Australia zone. Yeah, yeah. That word for dead is Australia. Yeah. Uh, uh. So you get different speeder bikes and shit. And the designs sometimes are really cool because they have different sort of traces. So Ooh. like that's that's a billowy boy. Like can say like like a normal one. Uh huh. Like that's the difference. So let's have a look at some of the special ones I've got. Like this one shits out love. <laughs> it was the Valentine's Day Sparrow. Undeterred. Ah, tilt fuse. Okay, I thought it said tip fuse. This one with like Wait. fire on its thing. Uh, this one has like a constellation on it. Shade oh, these nice. all your little things. Curse of foresight. <laughs> foresight is a funny word. Then you get some of the Prometheus. more crazy ones that looks like that looks just like a jet ski. Wave race. Yeah, like. Welcome to Brickville. Neon Drive. Like, that's cool. It just seems dangerous. I mean, I know that you should put your hand in it. You kind of want to. That's the speeder bike. The rat. Whoa. Popcorn Black Rider, Little Razor. This one's sick. Like, all the controls are like hollow. Oh. Huh. Fucking John Deere tractor. <laughs> Like, we always paint this green. But this one, you can actually mod. I don't have the green shader at the moment, but... This fucking thing's cool. Shot of... Ooh. It's just weird. The hat pin. They get... Odd. Like, the penis ball. I mean, there's only so many fucking shapes something that a human can sit on and hurdle through space can be. Like, that's a reality. Like, because that's, you know, you go, okay, we've done a horizontal wheel at the front. Ghost Rider. Yep. That's less country than I thought it was going to be. I like this one. Bare Bones. Yeah. I mean, that looks like something someone could make on YouTube and, like, I'm an engineer and I make fucking shit from video games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Strap yourself to a rocket. Be reasonable, Marcus. Just the engine? Hmm, you're right. That does change things. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put handles on it. That's from above. This looks fucking sick. Pads. Now, what else we got? Mother load. That looks like Bad. something that could almost exist today. <laughs> right, that's just, yeah. Let's just cling to something <laughs> and pray. That's not. Another shark. Nice playing silly buggers. I love that this one like, because it looks like the fucking speedboats from GTA Vice City. Now that is a handsome 
When's wood paneling gonna come back? God, I know, right? I need to get some fucking vinyl wood. <laughs> Scooty Puff Jr. Yeah, you should absolutely have that. Why do you have anything not that? Beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. It goes beep, beep. This one's pretty sick. I like my bumpy line. No, oh, it is pretty cool. The fucking... Also this. Just a broomstick. <laughs> Over's there. It's really cool. What time Christmas one. Shit's Christmas. Actually, no. The, that wasn't the Christmas one. Where's the old Christmas one? It had fucking Santa's sleigh. Season three? Four. Where the fuck are you? Oh, yes. <laughs> so during Christmas time, it gets a perk that it shits glimmer, which is the current, like, it's like money. All oh, right. Cool. So you can follow her behind someone collecting all their fucking glimmer. I haven't got any of these. Yeah, I'll show you the mini because the mini's fucking funny. Go to beep, beep. Fucking Jesus. Reclined slightly in this chair and then almost fell off. I can't remember if it's got a backing up noise. <laughs> Ooh. That's, that's, that's awful. Yeah, leave it on that. Leave it on the one that makes it look like a toothpaste, too. It's like there's a a ship that we like to use that looks like a fucking skateboard. So stupid. <laughs> that is awful. Wait, okay, there's one called the Woomera B5. What's that? Oh, sweet. Fucking old Hawkesbury C. It's actually an Australian reference. Yeah, I know. I figured it had to be because no one accidentally named something Woomera. <laughs> It is much smaller than I expected it to be, and this whole thing is so much better now as a result. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. It needed to be tricycle big. I, that's, I was always expecting it to be like, you know, more around you. The fact that you're clearly way too big for it. Because <laughs> you see, that's one of these things you see in the outer suburbs a lot. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's gone, but like you used to see fucking big fat dudes on tiny BMX bikes just so much. That was just one of those ones where uh, I'm in a bad neighborhood. Well, what's going on? It's just a huge fat guy on a tiny BMX bike. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. Just trust me. It's great when you, especially if you play a Titan, like the big heavy armor boys. Yeah, Because no, they just the, don't look right. The bigger anything can be on the tiny, silly little scooter is better. <laughs> oh, I'm telling mum. I just love that you can do tricks. That is a nice little addition. And guess what it does, Gabriel? It has a gameplay function. What? See how that's when I boost it drops? Boost, yeah. So tricks give if you, you land boost. a trick, it gives you boost back. Oh, fuck yeah. See, that's good. I like things that have, like, functions. The little details. It motivates use. It's just, it's so good. I wish I had a flying scooter that would just appear out of nowhere when I needed it. It does have backing up noises! Uh, look out. Special needs child reversing. Uh oh. Yeah, there's something you can do. I can't do it without a controller. I wouldn't be able to do it because I haven't done it so long. But basically, if you double tap a direction, you nudge the sparrow. So people found a way to, to fuck the physics that you launch off, turn it sideways, so start spinning it, and nudge it at certain times, and it would make the sparrow fly. <laughs> so there's videos of people crossing this on a sparrow just like nudging and you just see it, it looks so fucking gummy just this finger yeah. boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom, flying across yeah that's the uh the, right. the sad thing about this is it's it does have a big hitbox oh. because that would be pay to win all right like it's got to have the exact same definition as everything else because it was yeah it's all for money sadly which does break a little bit of the fun for me still though. but just look at I it. I mean, look at it. <laughs> the knees all the way up. <laughs> Onward! Let's go. My steed, Wilberforce. <laughs> there he goes. Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support.
It expanded somehow. I'll have you know. 